What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, we're going to talk about some shit today, okay? First of all, let's fix this camera angle, make that shit fucking square. All right, now, all right, let's dive right into this shit today. Shelby Houlihan, okay, she's an Olympic runner, out of the Olympic trials and faces a four year ban after a failed drug test. Now, I'm sure many of you already know <laughs> that this has happened, it's been all over the news the last couple of days. And, um, let me just start out by saying, like, look, I've been involved with steroids for, I was 20 years old when I started. I started researching when I was about 18. So you're looking at about 27 years that I've been involved researching and was using steroids long term. Um, Nandrolone, nandrolophenylpropionate, um, these are things that I used regularly. And before... I ever took any of these things, I researched the shit out of them and found out that Nandrolone, which is what she tested positive for, Nandrolone Decanate, aka Decadurabol, which would be a brand name, is um, a very long acting steroid. And it can test, you can test positive up for up to a year and a half, which are um, after you've taken your last dosage, which are some of the stats that I've read. And this has gone for 25 years. And that stat hasn't changed for 25 years. If you're taking Nandrolone Decanate, which is the long acting version of Nandrolone, you could stop your dosage now and a year and a half later still test positive. It happens. Okay, so it is a very long acting steroid. It's not something that people that are doing drug tested meats or organizations would usually use. But we do have the issues where sometimes people think they're getting one drug and they're getting another and they test positive. Right, so basically it boils down to the fact that they didn't know they were, they knew they were taking a steroid, but they didn't know they were taking that one. And when they cut it out, the detection time was longer and they wind up testing positive. Now, let me go on record right now as saying that I don't think that's what happened in this case. I do not think that this individual, Shelby, was actually taking Nandrolone and knew she was taking it, tried to make sure the detection times were okay, and got popped. I don't think that's what's going on. I'm going to walk you guys through this. I mean, my first instinct is to say, I remember specifically when Dr. Fred Hatfield, Dr. Squat, did our certification for the ISSA certifications when I became a certified personal trainer. And one of the things in that class he told us was never to promise our clients that we could make them jump like Michael Jordan, run like an Olympic athlete, et cetera, et cetera. He was, he was very big on pushing the fact that all Olympic and professional athletes use drugs, all of them. Now here's Fred Hatfield, Dr. Fred Hatfield, who was actually an Olympic coach. So he did have some, you know, a lot of experience in this field to make that statement to where we could trust what he was saying. So the first thing when I see this, I automatically go, she's full of shit. She's lying. She took a drug. She got caught. Oh, fucking well. You know what I mean? Take your penance and, and deal with it. But after going through the article, and I'm going to read some of the article right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that way there we can all get on the same page. Now, Shelby Houlihan, the American record holder in the 1,500 and 5,000 meters, is facing a four-year ban from competition after failing a drug test. She will not run in the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. Um, in a Zoom conference hosted by her team, the Bowman Track Club, her coaches and attorney vigorously disagree with the decision from Athletics Integrity Unit and said it has been unfairly accused, said she has been unfairly accused ingesting contaminated pork. Um, she tested positive for Nandrolone, an anabolic androgenic steroid, on December 15th, 2020, and was notified on January 14th, 2021. Julian said she never knowingly ingested the substance, and she thinks the positive test came from eating a burrito with pig organ meat from a food truck near her home in Beaverton, Oregon, 10 hours before the test. The level of nandrolone found in her test was extremely low, so low that it became impossible to distinguish where it came from. Um, reading from a prepared statement of fighting back tears, she said she did everything she could to prove her innocence, including have her hair tested and taken a polygraph test. Now, here's the deal. After reading this, right, and they, they go on to say that, talk about Nandrolone a little more, what it is, um, you know, the World Anti-Doping Agency, they talk about what that is and why they they basically give no leeway. If you tested positive for the substance, you test positive for the substance. Because what's going to happen is, if there is, you know, a, some way possible that this is true, it opens up the door for people to take Nandrolone and lie about it and get away with it. So basically, if it's in your system, oh fucking well, you tested positive, that's just the end of it. Now... On uh, one aspect, I see the Olympics and the World Anti-Doping Agency and USADA, I see their point of view. 
look, it's in your system, too fucking bad. We can't take the chance of other people, you know, basically using this loophole to be able to use drugs and get away with it. I also see her point of view where she says, well, I didn't do anything. I ate a fucking pork sandwich. Like, I didn't do it. So why should I be, you know, why should I get fucked for it in, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So she's trying to argue her point, which the rule is, if something's in your system, you fuck it test positive, oh well. Now here's where I kind of want to step further. Look, for 25 years, I have never heard in my fucking travels around the fucking world talking about drugs that eating pork can make you test positive for nandrolone. I have never fucking heard that once ever anywhere. Not in Olympic stuff, not fucking in bodybuilding stuff, not in other sports, nothing, nowhere, anywhere, ever. So I said, this is going to be the biggest bullshit thing I've ever heard. So what I did was I jumped in and researched, right? And I found research going back as far as 2018, where they talk about organ meat specifically, organ meat from pork, from pig, does contain nandrolone metabolites in it. In ingesting that organ meat, you'll have the metabolites, but not the active form of nandrolone. So therefore, you'll test positive for having the metabolites, but never have any of the effects that come along with if you injected nandrolone. Interesting, right? I did some more research, and I found a lot of stuff about clenbuterol in um, beef. There were cows that were given clenbuterol, which apparently makes them leaner and bigger, and this was not illegal at the time, and people started testing positive for clenbuterol when they were eating this beef. They tested the meat, they found it in the meat, they found out that it was the metabolites and not the active um, components of clenbuterol. So it, it this happens, right? Because I was thinking to myself, if you ate the organ meat, nandrolone is not orally active. You can't just squirt DECA in your mouth and have the results that you would if you injected it. So how the fuck does this work? No, because you, this is just because you're, you're ingesting it and it winds up in your blood in a, a test, doesn't mean you're getting the active metabolites and you're actually getting the effect from the drug. Okay, now all that being said, there is proof going back 20-something years now that if you have organ meat in your diet and you get tested, you could test positive for nandrolone. My question is this. You're an Olympic athlete. You're at the highest level athletics outside of pro. You're one of the best in the world. You're going to compete to try to be the best in the world. Why the fuck are you eating a burrito off the back of a fucking truck? What the fuck? Time out. I can tell you one thing right now. All those high-level athletes, Tom Brady's one specifically that really talks about it, are so particular with their food and the things that they fucking eat because they were trying to make those machines that are their bodies be the most efficient, most effective, most power output, energy output, everything that can possibly come from a human body. Why the fuck are you eating some random organ meat bullshit off the back of a truck? right? Makes no sense because I felt like eating it. Well, you're going to pay the fucking price. Just like everything else that takes place through your life has to be structured and weighed out and put perfectly to make sure that you're the best on that day, the fucking food you eat also goes with that, which means that most athletes that I've ever talked to that are professional athletes, that are high-level athletes, and I really never have known Olympic athletes, but bodybuilders and, and you know strength athletes, etc., they're all, unless they're eating bulky foods, they're doing stupid shit. To get the maximum performance, they're always eating those very clean foods that they can control, right? They're eating stuff like egg whites. They're eating stuff like chicken breasts. They're eating stuff like turkey. They're doing stuff like protein powders. And some of them even cut the protein powders out because some of the protein powders have stuff in it that tests positive. Matter of fact, they had a um, Muscle Milk Collegiate was actually a, a certain brand that they made because other supplements were testing positive in the AAU, the, the Athletic um, College sports organizations. So they came out with a specific supplement that college athletes knew they could use that they wouldn't test positive for something in. And it wasn't steroids, it was other random things. So when you're at that level, you should fucking be aware that everything you put in your body, if you're not 100% on point with it, can cause a fucking problem like this. Now, on the flip side of this, that's just on her responsibility. She should fucking know better and should stick to the fucking things that she knows are what she should be doing now. Look, some people are like, Jerry, I have am. Fuck off. This is the Olympics. You're trying to be the best fucking athlete in the world. If you think you're eating off the back of fucking food trucks is helping you get to your goal, you're fucked in the head, okay? That's not fucking reality. Let's be real. Matter of fact, look where we're at. We're not talking about this girl being suspended for four years because she ate off a fucking food truck. 
So fucking common sense dictates she didn't eat off the fucking food truck. This wouldn't be happening. Duh. Bottom line, stick with what you're fucking doing and you'll be fine. But no, she did this shit. That's on her. It's her own fault. Fuck her. Who cares? Now, at the same time, your coaches, your gurus, your fucking doctors, your scientists, all the shit that goes around on the fucking team that she has. 20-something fucking years they've talked about Nandrolone being in pork. That's where it fucking... It might even be longer, but that's where I traced it back to. 2018. You're trying to tell me that these people on a whole fucking team of scientists, doctors, coaches, etc. that have access to cutting-edge technologies for training, diet, they have the fucking most updated, best of everything, had no fucking concept... That if she ate something that fucking wasn't on the diet, or if she ate something like organ meat, ate something that wasn't technically organic, free range, whatever the case may be, there could be something in that would fucking test her positive. And they didn't fucking know that? It took me two minutes on Google to figure that shit out. So therefore, I know more about fucking Nandrolone and meat than her entire fucking team right now. I'm sure they know now. So the team dropped the ball because they weren't on fucking point knowing what they should be doing with their fucking athlete, making sure that she didn't do stupid shit like that. The athlete is to blame because she shouldn't have been stu doing stupid shit like eating off the back of a food truck when she's getting ready for the fucking Olympics. So it's their fucking fault. It's not the fucking testing procedures. It's not the Olympic Committee. It's not USADA. It's not WADA. It's the fucking athlete and the coach's fucking fault. You don't see... All the rest of the fucking runners testing positive for Nandrolone because they're eating fucking organ meat. Why? Because those other people are not eating off the back of a fucking food truck. She did it. She made the choice to go over there and eat it. She chose, I'm going to have this fucking burrito off the back of a food truck during my fucking preparation for the Olympics to be the best athlete in the world. I'm going to say fucking to do this because I want to and jeopardize everything I've worked for for the past 20 fucking years to get to where I want to be. Because now, no matter what, there's a little fucking asterisk next to her name. Whether or not it came from the pig meat or she took the fucking drug, it doesn't matter. That's it. Even if she's reinstated, there's always going to be that, did she cheat fucking question. Did she fucking test positive? Is she a liar? Was she full of shit? That's always going to be there because she wanted to eat a fucking burrito from a fucking food truck. I keep saying that because think of how fucking stupid that sounds. Think about the jet. You have jeopardized everything for a fucking burrito. I hope that was the best fucking burrito in the entire world. I hope you ate that fucking burrito and you died and went to heaven or sit to the right hand of God because you fucked your entire life and you're whining and crying trying to get people to feel bad for you when you made the stupid fucking mistake yourself and should have had common sense and said, I don't know what the fuck is in that. You don't even know. It's like a food truck. They could have got the lowest grade fucking quality meat you've ever seen in your fucking life. And you put it in your body and get sick. This would be the very least of your problems. If you got sick for three or four days and lost time in training, hey, the Olympics is coming up. Hello? There's no time to lose three or four days for being sick. That would be the least of your problems. But the bad part is you tested positive for a fucking steroid now and you're losing your fucking mind about how, you know, well, I've trained so hard and for Oh, fucking well. Like, this just goes to show you guys, like, so many people always, this doesn't matter. The IF whammers will be like, it doesn't matter, Jerry. Pork is just a beef. It's, it's another beef. It's the, the other white meat. It's just a fucking form of protein. Blah, blah, blah. And what do I say? The little things make a difference. The little things matter. This is a prime fucking example of that being true. That little thing that she ate a fucking food from a fucking random source that she has no idea where the fuck it came from. And it tested her positive for a drug. And now she's fucked. And she's complaining like, oh, this happens to athletes because those fucking athletes that are testing positive, it's not every athlete, which means that some athletes that are not doing their fucking homework, not doing their due diligence, their fucking coaches are not paying attention, or they're doing it like without the coaches knowing them and they get popped. And then this fucking shit happens and they're like, oh, woe is me. Well, I didn't do anything. Well, asshole, if you were doing what you fucking were doing before, what everybody else is doing, they're not testing positive. So if you're doing what everybody else is doing and they're not testing positive, then you won't test positive. And then you won't fucking get in trouble. Then you won't get suspended. Then you can go compete in the Olympics and possibly be the best athlete in the fucking world at your sport. But no. Had to have a fucking pork burrito. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't. I, I, I can't get the mentality. I can't wrap my head around it because I'm not an Olympic athlete and never was. I was a competitive bodybuilder and I did it as a fucking hobby. And I would still 
never do what she fucking did leading up to that fucking... I know people do it. I know people go out there and do it. But in the end, I didn't win. But at least they said I did everything I could. I didn't leave anything on the table. I didn't fuck anything up. I just wasn't good enough that day. Now, she's never even going to make it there. She's never even going to find out whether she's good enough. She's not going to find out whether she's the best. She's not going to find out. Shit, I guarantee you this is it. I guarantee you if she comes back after four years, despite... All the training she'll put in there, despite trying to make the comeback, this is going to be in the back of her fucking head. And you're going to have other athletes that's going to be in the back of their fucking head that they're not going to believe that she didn't test positive. I mean, that she didn't take the drug and she tested positive. Like, this is going to follow her for the rest of her fucking life. It's all over the news. It's all over the newspapers. It's all over the TV. Like, she is now infamous. I don't know if infamous or famous. I guess famous for being the fucking athlete that ate a pork, a pork burrito and tested positive for drugs. She's the example of what not to do. So now, Olympic athletes, professional athletes, when they're going to be getting tested for something, I guarantee you they don't go eat off the back of fucking food trucks anymore. You know why? Because she's the example. So congratulations. You didn't fulfill your destiny as being the best athlete in the world, but you did set an example for the rest of athletes all over the world of what not to do. Now, in my opinion, she should take her suspension, Shut the fuck up, deal with it, and if you can come back and fucking be better later and win, that's how you show them fucking that you are on point. That's how you show everybody, like, I didn't do it. You come back, you test fucking clean, and you win everything and be the best, right? You don't sit here and whine and piss and moan and cry about all the time you lost. It's over. Too fucking bad. It's done. They've made the decision. You're not getting out of this. You made a decision. You have to pay for it, and now the only thing you can do is move forward from here, but you keep fucking with this bullshit about how you fucking, I didn't do anything, you're not going to move forward. You're going to be stuck right here trying to fucking prove that you're innocent. It doesn't matter. You have the metabolite in your fucking body. You're guilty. That's how that works. That's how the fucking rule works. Whether you like it or not, and you fucking know it. You know it as an athlete that fucking no matter how it got in your body, if it's there, you're guilty. And now you've, and you willingly have accepted that, competed in the sport, competed in the organizations, and have been totally fine with it. Until you fucked up and you know it's on you this time and you're trying to put it on the fucking testing procedures and the Olympic Committee and stuff like that. No, this shit's on you. So be aware, guys, if you're going to be one of these high-level athletes, you're not untouchable whatsoever. When it comes to drugs, they do not fucking like this bullshit and they're not going to play. They are not going to play. They say, this is your fucking penance, boom, you're done. This is where it's at. And I've seen this many times over with people that have gotten busted for drugs and they didn't deny it saying they eat a pork burrito. They would say stuff. They'd, they'd make a statement like, you know, I brought shame to my country, et cetera, stuff like that. People that owned it. But I really don't feel like she actually took the drug. I think she ate the fucking burrito. But all in all, uh, Shelby, you should have fucking known better. Bottom line. BossyChang at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. BossyChang.com is a vlog. So you should have known better bicep. And we are out.